up everybody we are out here in Fort Pierce Florida fishing the Indian River we are about to get to it we're on the boat right now about to head over to the spot hopefully catch some big fish for y'all today it's gonna be a good episode so stay tuned and let's get started <laughs> That one was a fish. This might just be one of those days you're so excited to go out for. Then you get out there. And things. Good trout. Woo! Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. That's a 17 incher. Tarpon. Where? Right, that first big bull right there. Right there? Yep, just right there, maybe 25, 30 yards. And it was coming towards the front of the boat. Okay. Yep, right there's where it rolled at. I know. Oh man, that's a netter. How did you catch the tarpon on camera? I have no idea what it is, but it's a big one. I don't know, it's kind of fighting like a big bluefish or a jack. It's not tar fighting like a tarpon. If it's, if it's a trout, it's a giant, I can tell you that much. But it's fighting like a jack or a bluefish. I know it's mean. I can't even move it. I'm just playing with them. <laughs> it just keeps on pulling out. What is it? It is a jack that I snag. It's not even that big of one. That hard? I know. Snagged him right on the side. Ah, you dork. I was just going to sling him in. Now I got to get it out of the net. Oh. That's fighting like another jack. And it smoked it too. Yep, Jack Cavalli. Cavalli, come here, Cavalli. I'll take you. I'll net it. Well, I'll just pull it in. I don't want to have to dig it out of the net. So 
it's a giant, bro. I see it. I it's yeah. A red yeah, it's a red. <laughs> well, you just said we would never caught a redfish on this flat. Oh, look at that! Hit my bait. Oh, right there, it's coming in fast. I got you covered now. He got some nice red. He's barely hooked. He took under his face. On the top water. He was like a trout. And then he woke up. He's yeah, he's not done yet. You, oh yeah, he got one hook underneath his belly. I'm rolling to you. After the turn. Yep. Oh, 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 slick little fish. Okay, here he comes. Boom! Oh, yeah! Yeah! What? That's it! Woo! <laughs> Oh man, what is that? Look at that I thing. think it's a trout or a red. Look at that thing. Let me roll this in yeah, real quick. Look at him, Tom. Big trout. Big trout. Look at him, Tom. Look at this trout, dude. This is a nice one. Right here, look at that. Yeah, look at that. This is a stud. <laughs> <laughs> Trout! Woo! Giant! It was a red, by the way, he was splashing the water. Show that camera. Ah. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Look at Brother Tom with his two dollar bait. Getting it done. Well, that's acting like a blue or a Man, blue. look at that. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. I think it might be foul hooks, Brother Tom. Oh, I want to see it. I don't even see your line. No, there I do. There I do. Oh, my goodness. Might want to pick that net up. Oh, oh, oh. It's a nice red, red, brother Tom. Real nice red fish. He's hooked in the mouth. He ain't foul hooked. That's just a big fish. Oh man, nice red. Two reds in the same day. What? It's if he's hunting it. Oh no, he's hooked around the. He's hooked around the steps. Oh no, we gotta get this thing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Jesus. I was about to go in after that. Dude. Yes! Praise the Jesus! Redfish! Redfish! Thank you, Jesus. Alright, bait check. Using the Catch 2000. Halloween color, we call it. Some people call it New Penny. Not really sure what the color of it actually is. Another bait check, we are using the Yozuri, I'm not for sure what the name of it is, I've just been calling it the Crystal Minnow. Looks a lot like the Crystal Minnow, let's go with it. Really don't know the color either. So, color, nada. Actual name, nada. But, it's cotton fish, and you can see it, so you don't need to know the name as long as you can see it. And using DOA cow shed basically a miniature swim bait that's been working real good I've been using Arkansas glow color with the green head uh, a lot of people's been using the glow body and really don't know what else they're using onto the other boats so that is it for the bait check so far and the day is almost over because mama said there'll be days like this and the fishing is terrible don't know what happened All right, all right, Net. I think so. It feels like a good one. It might be a jack. I don't know. Hoping not. 
It is a catfish. A big cell cat. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Came back for it. No, I know exactly what it is already. It's a cell cat. I hope it's not, but please be a redfish. It's a cell cat. Yeah. <sighs> these things but there you sell cat <laughs> yeah I ain't seen you give up in a long time <laughs> yeah I don't know nah I don't feel like a sell cat Take a redfish, but it's kind of feeling like a jack. And it is a Jack Cravali. I'll just get him. I don't want to get the stuff on the side of the net. Jack Cravali. It's a big puffer fish. Well, y'all. Puffer fish. My sisters are gonna think that's hilarious and awesome. Man, is that a fin? It'll float for a second. Oh, he's done and deflated. See? Nah, he had water in him. I almost went through that whole 50 pack I had Brother Jeff get me whenever I went to Steen Hatchy. <laughs> Man, you know it's bad whenever you're laying down. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh my goodness. This, this is... This video trip sucks, <laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> Those of you that don't believe it, I'll call you Goofy Goober. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh my goodness. That's something you don't see every day. I've only seen it once in my lifetime and I've been fishing with you for years. My goodness, the man gets a bass boat and he's already falling asleep on his new seats. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't breathe. <laughs> what you talking about? That's gonna go viral on YouTube. Yeah. This is what people really do on fishing trips. <laughs> Look at the wave! Something's eating them. We, we pitch a fit. We throw a temper tantrum. We pout. <laughs> We're like babies. Mama said there'll be days like this when you don't catch any fish. Not even that day on the John boat was this bad, but at least you caught one. But we did pull off at like 12 that day. Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And me personally, I kind of liked the trip, but it was really 
really just terrible at the same time because it was so bad. And you see my fishing partner there, Brother Jay, and he was, I mean, sprawled out across the back of the boat. And I mean, I've been fishing with him since I was seven years old and I'm 17 right now. That's 10 years. I ain't never seen him do anything like that. I ain't never seen him give up on a fishing trip, period. And today was terrible. I mean, it was legit terrible. <laughs> I mean, we had a terrible day, but my brother-in-law and them onto the other boat, they had, they done good. I don't know what, I don't know what went on. We went all over the place. I mean, I tried all kinds of stuff. As you've seen onto the video, I threw and I threw and I threw. And every time I think y'all see me, I was throwing a different rod with a different bait. And I just could not figure out what they wanted, what was going on. Mullet was everywhere, but I think there was, that was one of the main problems was because the mullet was everywhere and the fishes was eating the mullet. And you just couldn't get your bait to get in front of them for them to eat it. You had to get a reaction, basically. Which means I was having to snatch it and then start reeling really, really quick. And then they would come out and they would react it. because Why? Because it was going out so fast in front of them that all they seen was just the glare. And they reacted to it. Just like a bass bite whenever they're doing really slow, slow fishing. You want a reaction. And that's, that's what they were like last week for the bass. And that's what the salt water was like this week. I mean, they're killing me. But it was a rough day, and yes, one of us did get skunked. Sorry about that, Brother Jay. But you did make a good video. That was a, that was pretty awesome with you laying there. But I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Please do not forget to like and subscribe down below, and please share this channel because that's how Lined Up Fishing is growing. That's how we're getting bigger. And I just want to thank you, all of y'all fans, that have shared this vi the videos and everything just helping us grow I just want to thank y'all all y'all are amazing and please do not forget to swing by fast break for your everyday fishing needs and thank you and God bless have a good day and remember I'll see you next time on lined up fishing